copy the YouTube video out and then head over to youtubetranscript.com. Copy the entire transcript that was generated and then in ChatGTP, type in summarize, two dots, and paste the entire transcript. And then ChatGPT will actually summarize the entire video down to a few points that you can read in just a couple of minutes, which is way faster than watching the YouTube video. And that is how to speed up learning and research. Hey everyone, I'm Alec and today in this video, I'm gonna be giving you 12 chat GPT prompts that are gonna help you become a better content creator and YouTuber and speed up your workflow and just get rid of those boring mundane tasks. With that being said, here's prompt number two, reword text. I use chat GPT a lot to reword text and to make better hooks and just make them more intriguing. So I'm gonna to go to chat GPT and I'm gonna paste my sentence, which is, hi, my name is Alec. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to skateboard, which is a boring intro to a YouTube video. So before this, I'm just gonna put two dots and type in please, make this text more intriguing. And as you can see, we've got a way more exciting intro to my YouTube tutorial. And you don't have to like all of it, you can just take parts that you like and adapt it to your own, but it's a great way to quickly spice up your YouTube intros. The third prompt is finding duplicates in scripts. I repeat myself a lot in my videos, and when writing a script, I find a lot of duplicates which I don't actually see when I'm reading them. So I'm just copying the entire script to one of my previous YouTube videos, Command C. I'm gonna head to chat GPT, and now I can put give me a list of words that are used more than five times. Paste the entire script, hit enter. And now ChatGPT is gonna scrape my entire script for duplicates. And obviously there are going to be some duplicates, which is why I put the limit to five times. But it'll allow me to see which words I use too much and become a better presenter in front of the camera. And it's also great because I can then analyze it and reword specific sections with the prompt that I just showed you before this one of my script. And as you can see, ChatGPT has given me a list of all of the words that I have used over five times in this script. So I can then be like, okay, well, I'm using the word components too much. And then I could just prompt, give me a better word for component. And then it gives me a few alternatives. Element, part, piece, constituent, section, module, aspect. As you can see, I can then go through my script and change them up just so it's not too repetitive and I sound smarter on camera. And real quick, I'm just gonna clean this up here, click new chat. And now the next prompt, prompt number four, is asking chat GPT to repurpose my script into content. And I think this one's amazing. For example, again, I've got my entire script pasted right here. I'm gonna scroll back to the top and all I'm going to do, get rid of this intro part, is I'm going to type in, can you repurpose this YouTube video script into a few tweets? And then, as you can see, it's given us a total of three tweets. Now they're not all going to be perfect, but they can inspire you to come up with some tweets of yourself or adjust them a tiny bit so they become better tweets. But if I take a quick look at the second one, this actually isn't too bad because the tweet is ChatGPT can help you list components for a needed project. It's also important to provide enough detail so you can satisfy the viewers and create high quality content. And that is actually a really good tweet. So I can then just copy this and head over to Twitter and then reword it if I want to. But what I could do as well is I could just reword this tweet, paste it. And as you can see, I've got now an alternate version of that tweet. And I can do this as many times as I want. Okay, new chat. Now, prompt number five. Prompt number five is replying to comments. Now, replying to comments is great, but sometimes I get questions, or I get very repetitive questions, or questions that require a lot of time to answer. And so what I have been testing out is replying to them with the help of ChatGPT. For example, I got this comment on my channel. And so what I'm gonna do is copy it, and I'm gonna head over to ChatGPT, and I'm gonna type, please respond to this YouTube comment that I got on my YouTube video politely. And then I just paste the text, hit enter. And I don't know why I say please. I think it's because I'm scared of the day that AI takes over. And as you can see, ChatGPT is replying politely because I asked it to reply politely. And then I could actually go and copy and paste this or I could copy it, adjust it, copy a portion of it. It is quite long and lengthy, but it is a very thorough response to the question. Prompt number six is generate video ideas. Now ChatGPT is great for finding inspiration for new video ideas. For an example, I could ask it, please give me some ideas for YouTube videos that mix ChatGPT and YouTube. Hit enter, and as you can see, we've got five ideas. And there's not so much the YouTube side of the videos that I was hoping for, but these are actually some really good ideas. And we can just keep on picking its brain. You could even ask for a list of 10, 15, 20, maybe even 50 ideas. Prompt number seven is generating YouTube titles. And coming up with YouTube titles is something I struggle with a lot, and so I've written down this title right here. As you can see, Chat GPT Secrets, 12 Prompts for YouTube Creators, which I'm thinking is gonna be the title for this video, but I'm not quite sure. So I could write before it, give me some alternate titles for my YouTube video about YouTube and Chat 
GPT. And as you can see, we have got 12 variations of titles. And I think it's given us 12 different titles because I've got the number 12 in the original title that I had. But this is great for looking for inspiration. And ChatGPT has seen millions of YouTube titles before. So it kind of knows what power words are and how they should be structured. So some of these I'm pretty sure could work really well on this video. I might even choose one. Type out which one I should use in the comments down below and I might just change it to that one. Prompt number eight, or actually tip number eight. This one is making sure you give it some clear direction. When you're using ChatGPT, a big mistake I see is people aren't giving it enough direction and detail. You wanna make sure that you add multiple references and descriptive keywords. So for example, let's take the very simple sentence, I'm really tired and I can't wait to get home and sleep. Now what I can do here is give it multiple descriptive keywords. So let me just uh, hit two dots and I'm gonna type before the two dots. Can you reword the text to make it sound like it was written by a royal in the 1900s and then I can put please include the word exhausted hit enter I'm completely exhausted and yearn to retire to my chambers for some much needed rest so this is super powerful for example I could ask it to tell me a story in the words of Morgan Freeman or I can see this being really useful if you make a lot of YouTube skits and for example you're changing years uh, there's there's so much creative potential here but just be sure to prompt it with enough detail. Prompt number nine is asking for uncommon knowledge. Now, something that I've had huge success with and when I'm trying to create in-depth and valuable videos, because again, YouTube is about providing value and teaching your audience something, prompts that I've had great success with is what's something not many people know about and then enter your word. Let's just say hats. What's something not many people know about hats? Hit enter. And now I've literally just learned something that I didn't used to know about hats before. And then another one, another great prompt is give me some dates about and then skateboarding hit enter and then if I'm correct, it's gonna list a few dates with important or fun facts about skateboarding. And this is a great way to quickly learn things. Cause I don't have to browse the internet looking for uncommon knowledge. Prompt number 10 is asking ChatGPT to simplify text. And why would you wanna do this? Well, when you're making YouTube videos, you want your audience to be able to follow along. And if you're talking about a complex subject, it's very possible that a lot of people that watch that video are gonna be new to that subject. So you first need a simple explanation. Let me show you. As you can see, I just prompted how the cars work and it gave me an in-depth explanation, which is kind of confusing to me because I actually know nothing about cars. So I could type in simplify and in less than five sentences, right? And as you can see, we have a simplified explanation of how a car works in less than five sentences and I could even type in simplify again and then chat GPT would go ahead and simplify that piece of text and I've actually found this one to be very very useful prompt number 11 is finding sponsors for potential collaborations on YouTube videos so here I typed in I'm a youtuber that makes videos about content creation tech AI and social media can you list 10 small brands or tools that I could collab with I hit prompt I hit enter and now we're gonna see what chat GPT finds for us here are 10 small brands Canva okay now first of all as you can see these aren't great, but what I can then do is prompt it again afterwards, um, asking for smaller ones. And um, we've got to remember that ChatGPT isn't perfect. It is pretty amazing, but we can, I guess, kind of teach it or tell it that its answers are wrong and it will try again for us. So for example, I have heard of almost every single one of these. So I've just typed in, I've heard of all of those and they are too big. Can you give me some smaller ones, please? I hit prompt again and now, fingers crossed, we'll get some better ones. Okay, so there's a couple in there that I haven't heard of. Again, these are too big, but let's say let's get 10 more smaller again, please. As you can see, it kind of gives you inspiration. You can get quickly a list of companies that you could reach out to for a potential collab on your YouTube channel. Now I've typed in, please write an email, explain what my channel is about, asking if they'd be interested in me making a sponsored video for them. And then I can just hit prompt. And this is one of my favorite parts because I actually really, really, really dislike creating emails. So even if it can give me like a rough outline or a template, and then I can kind of adjust it and make it my own, huge time saver. And so as you can see, it started writing the email. And the first thing you'll notice is that here, it's actually written what my YouTube channel is about because it remembers it from the top of the conversation. And this is actually really interesting because ChatGPT will remember all the information and think of everything here as the same conversation as long as we don't hit new chat in the top left. So if I actually gave it an order at the top to give me really, really short answers, it will keep on doing that for everything below. And this email is really, really good, to be honest. And then finally, thumbnail research. Thumbnails are really important on YouTube and sometimes it's hard to come up with ideas. So I'm just gonna click on new chat 
And this time I'm gonna prompt, give me three YouTube thumbnail ideas for my YouTube video titled 12 ChatGPT prompts creators need to know. I hit enter and then we're gonna see what ideas ChatGPT comes up with. And as you can see, we have three ideas for thumbnails for this video using ChatGPT. I've been saving so much time, not just with ideas, but also on research with small text-based mundane boring tasks and even with script writing. ChatGPT has been a massive help with script writing for me. And if you wanna know how I've made some amazing scripts, thanks to ChatGPT, you can check out that video right here. With that being said, Thanks for watching. Peace out.